Hello everyone and welcome to Bugsy Bob Mania that's happening right now. We're in match number five. It is currently a 2-2 score. Going in, we are moving over to Refueling Tower. Matches have begun. We are moving on. Bands have started. So let's get everything going up to date. We are looking at the bands going in. First band's going to be on Kraken. Standard build. Uh, they have to be aware that Bob is now an option as they just saw in the previous game. And spoiler alert, if you haven't watched previous games, go back and watch them. God damn it. Damn it. I'm going to start foaming at the mouth if you don't go do it. You just sound like Gollum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it's precious. precious. Precious view counter. Precious. <laughs> but yeah, with me, of course, is Grizzle Marine, who I haven't introduced yet, but he shouldn't need any introduction. Just look at that face. I mean, I mean baby face, you know. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, no so one can hurt this adorable, <laughs> ugly ass Bands, we're falling behind schedule. We're starting to get up. It's already on screen, and i got to try and do it. So, yeah, we got a Kraken, followed by a Torvald ban, and we're going with a Parnell pick, followed by a Jack ban and a Crow pick, and then we have a ban Val, pick Kyra. Moiser must be doing picks or something. And I think JSMS are probably going to call that he's going to go Bob, maybe because of that Parnell pick, because I would have definitely said Parnell was a nice, a nice assault to go up against Bob. But we'll have to see. So what will Bugsy take? Oh, and he's going Goliath. That's okay. going to be an OG man right now going in. We are going in the lobby. And this is the bands right now that he went through, did it one by one. So let's make sure we give some shout-outs to TGL because this is their ban overlay. Make sure to follow them at Twitter at EvolveTGL. Make sure to go to their Twitch. You, know, you can see all of what happened with TGL and what went on there. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it for you. That way you guys can watch the VODs. It did conclude yesterday, but there will be a Season 3 if you guys give it some love. So make sure to talk to the guy the message and tell him that he did a great job at Kaiser Tim and all the rest of the administration and make sure that everyone knows that you guys were excited to see what TGL had to offer. But in the meantime, guys, we are going in the game. We have ourselves a Bugsy Bob going in. Let's take a look at the abilities right now. We have a one leap, one flame, one charge going forward. And he looks like he is choosing the standard feed route on the east side and going north with that move speed. Definitely. I think he's going to take the standard. I mean, last time he was on uh, sort of, uh, not orbital drill, I'm trying to get my map straight, refueling tower, he didn't take the sort of normal feeding route, but it does appear he's going to be doing that now. So I wonder whether he's going to be ready to stage up as soon as he gets up to that sort of right pathway, or he's going to try and duke backwards and maybe go a different route. Because that's what you know some of the monsters I've seen have done. Actually, maybe it wasn't Bugsy I'm thinking of. Maybe I'm th I think I'm thinking of uh, the uh, 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 t yeah, JSMS's uh, monster, actually. But either way, heading in, hunters are looking around for him and going to be hunting Bugsy down. I think he definitely wanted to go on Goliath, probably take a safer pick. That sloth does not want him to get his food. Oh, 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 oh. Quick yeah, headbutt. Uh, you know, just a little bit. Yeah, he'll finish up his Evolve Meteor and top off that armor, but that Crow Bill yeah, is definitely is. upset. That's what's, so that's what's so perfect about that feeding route. And he's going to go straight for that stage two. That's what I love about that feeding route, because you normally oh, no. are just he it. ready. Oh, no, he he's cancelled it. Okay, never mind then. Obviously thought, you know, probably wasn't a safe play because he was going to get domed. Um, it probably wouldn't have been too bad because that that area is quite bad for hunters if you do dome because of the just large area of water. But still, you know, would have taken a little bit of damage. So Bugsy's going to play it safe. Probably going to get over towards Junkyard. Oh, dome has been thrown and Bugsy is in. So Bugsy's probably going to mitigate as much as possible. I mean, very rare he's going to be able to get a down penalty at stage one. But, you know, again, this dome, another very common one hunters do throw. But, you know, quite a hard one to get anything down on the monster because there's so much elevation to it that you know as soon as a hunter comes down to do damage to the monster he can just head straight back up and it is a huge waste of jetpack which uh, obviously works in Bugsy's favor but he doesn't seem to be mitigating that much and actually is trying to get what he can down on the hunters I guess he's trying to make the medic work so he doesn't sort of avoid taking damage but he has got quite a lot of armor here still so um, he's mitigating pretty well and the dome is probably around just around halfway Yeah, for those of you watching at home, uh, right now we are actually having those FPS things. I need to find out what's causing this. Uh, every once in a while, after we stream for too long, it does. It, it usually hits around this marker. So, four-hour mark, it does start tanking FPS. We'll make sure to get that fixed up for you. In the meantime, guys, uh, we're looking at a pretty epic game right now. It is going down as you guys are looking at what we call the PowerPoint presentation at 15 FPS. We'll bring that up for you and get all that fixed up. Uh, in the meantime, though, we're looking at it, just charging on through, and everything's kind of going in, trying to get as much distance as possible going forward. And, I don't know, it's just going to be an interesting position for him to break through. I think, well, they got a little bit down. That's a good thing about having Crow. It doesn't matter what happens in most domes. You will always get down to that health. That's a great advantage of Crow. Big fan of that trapper. 
you can always chip away, but it does look like Bugsy's going to probably go for the stage in this cave, which he is, and probably a wise decision as well. Dome's probably still on cooldown, and again, we'll have to see what his points are and what he's going to put his points into. Most likely, quite three into rock throw, maybe? Two and two. No, two, two into rock throw and two into leap smash. Fantastic. So he's going to be heading to the other side of the map here. That's where the Armadon perk normally lies. Actually, there's no, although there's no perks in these kind of rule sets anyway, so I don't know why I'm mentioning that. Which uh, makes me wonder whether they should actually add that to the full game, having no perks, because it does make the game a whole lot more balanced and can be quite frustrating when Monster or Hunter turns the table by taking an OP perk and absolutely screwing you over. But uh, I think Bugsy's just going to try and get armor on, and uh, I think he's going to feel a lot more confident than going in going in at stage two with Goliath and his Bob. But Dome does come down, and Orbital is dropped. He is using a rock throw. I don't think it's going to quite connect, which is a bit unfortunate, but it's going to be interesting. He's heading up here. Quite a lot of high ground, so, uh, you know, I'm not sure which way this could go, if I'm honest, but it does seem Bugsy wants to mitigate this at the moment. I mean, he's got a little bit of armor, uh, but... Assault is going to be coming in in a second, I would have thought, and is going to be trying to use the Super Soul to power Parnell on Bugsy. Yeah, he's going to be trying to get anything he can at this point. He's going to be pushing in, just getting armor, getting everything. I mean, not getting armor, sorry, get, trying to get strikes. He's looking at ourselves some Jesus that's going on on the high ground right now, forcing him off and just doing what he can to keep melting forward. And he's going to keep pushing around and getting what's possible, looking up rocks and he picked up and thrown over at Cerberu. Jesus is, however, using his cloak to keep them both alive. However, the acceleration field's going to reveal their position a little bit because he knows they're in the middle. And goes, here comes the leap, goes right in, doesn't quite connect. Tentuki's on the high ground, throwing up everything he can to try and dodge it. Not quite able to keep everyone alive, but they are melting through this armor. He may have been better off sticking with Bob. He's just getting demolished as Goliath with the bog skin on refueling tower. That was being unfortunate. He did not get much from that and definitely was in the hunter's favor in that engagement. It lost pretty much just more than half his health and again, isn't looking good, but he is quite a way away from stage three still, so he's going to need to try and get armored up and uh, most likely going to have another engagement at stage two, I would have thought, but... He's going to get as much armor as he possibly can at this point. But it's hard to say what Bugsy could have done there. I mean, they did have a very good dome, I guess, and a lot of high ground. So there wasn't many places Bugsy could actually hide to avoid damage. And he did go in, but, you know, there was a lot of places hunters could dodge around. And so he just couldn't get any of those penalties down. But either way, we're going to hopefully see another engagement at stage two from him. Because I would have thought hunters are going to come in and try and get another dome down. But he is going back the other way. I would have thought Dome's still on cooldown, but it ain't going to be far off. And he's going in for the full engagement here. He's going full out on the trapper. He wants he wants it down. He wants JB down. But they're all in quite a tight space here. I would not want to fight indoors if I was the Hunters in general. Oh, but they three are man down. charge. Three man charge. Absolutely beautiful. Going to make that medic work. Orbital does come down. Only just hits once. But it's not a lot of armor left. Dome comes down. Bugsy in a horrible position right here. He's not got much armor to work with and not a lot of help either. Oh! oh! Never mind. He just got Parnell down. That is damage taken out of the game. I mean, still, it's quite hard to work with. He's got. Now he's got Kara down. It, it's medic dies. Everyone dies. Everything could go anyway here. Oh, Hank taking a lot of damage. Hank's about to go down. And this has been turned around in a matter of no time. Let LV just back up. get up. LV. Parnell. LV, oh, you're doing it. Beautiful. Keep yep. charging it forward. Melt it down. Here comes Sentuki. Oh, pistol damage, oh. pistol damage, pistol damage. Keep shooting. Keep shooting, LV. Oh, Keep oh, shooting. Oh, Keep oh, shooting. Oh, Keep oh, shooting. Oh, 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 yeah, LV. Brilliant game. Pistol for the win. Absolutely amazing game. That is why we play and watch Evolve, people. That is, that is what we come to watch Evolve for, folks. That is exactly what sort of plays we want to see. Pistol damage for the win. LV coming in with a clutch victory right there, being able to make sure that it goes forward and making sure that her teammates are staying alive because she's just dealing lots and lots of damage. But in the meantime, we're going to be back in just a minute, guys. If you're in the VODs, make sure to stay tuned in the next video in the playlist. It'll be up in just a moment. For those of you watching live, we'll be back in just a second with more Evolve content. Stay tuned, and we'll be back in a minute.